32 right now after a full year and then some of online learning only. The biggest school district in the region is welcoming more students back to the classroom today. The Syracuse City School District has been planning for this day for months. News Channel Lines Julia LeBlanc joins us now live from Dr. Weeks Elementary School. So Julia, what can you tell us about this plan? Good morning, Dan and Nicole. Yeah, Dr. Weeks and all other pre-K through five schools in the Syracuse City School District will be welcoming the kids back to the classroom for five days of in-person learning starting today. Now, this is the first time they're going to be welcoming them back for that much in-person learning since last March. So as you said, they're ready for it. They're geared up here at Dr. Week. So let's take a look at these pictures that they posted on social media. This is the cafeteria where they have plastic barriers in between each student. They're sticking with those barriers in the classroom too, also requiring everyone to wear masks at all times. But the amount of added in-person learning varies based on grade level. Middle schoolers, that's grades six through eight, they'll be offered four half days of in-person instruction going into school for the first half of the day and then heading home actually for online learning starting at 1245. High schoolers, they'll be offered two half days of in-person instruction based on that same model where they're learning from home for the second half of the day. Now they hope to add more in-person learning soon, but this is just the start here. We have been doing that development with our teachers, uh, bringing our kids back uh, is going to be kind of like day one again. Some of the kids that are coming back have not been in school yet, so we will go over the routines about, when, you know, being back full time in school. Now, though the district is doubling the amount of in-person learning for each grade level, they still have 25% of families who have opted to stay home and continue that remote learning. So they will have those teachers dedicated to just online instruction. They'll be offering a lot more opportunities to help those people who are home learning from home. We're live outside Dr. Weeks, Julian LeBlanc, News Channel 9.